make money by having an actual job instead of going around scamming innocent people. The victim is still angry after she got tangled in an insurance scam by simply being at an intersection. I was stopped at a stop sign and um, a car was going to turn left in front of me. Um, so she waved me on. As I was turning, she hit the back of my car. As soon as it happened, the victim approached the other car. I asked if everyone was okay and they all had a different ailment. It was, it's my neck, my knee, my eye. Um, they were all wearing seat belts. So I knew that I had been scammed right away. Immediately, she grabbed her cell phone. I started taking pictures with my cell phone um, and that seemed to upset them greatly. They didn't want me taking pictures of their car or anyone in the car because I knew they weren't telling me the truth. There was no way they could have injured themselves in the way they were describing just by a little bump um, to my car. Postal inspectors say the victim was one of 80 targeted by this group alone. Total losses, $130,000. All of a sudden, they're in this car accident and they have no idea how they got there because they were being waved on. Another version of the scam occurs in parking lots when the victim is backing out of a spot. The suspect car would stop and wave them out of the parking spot and they would start going out of the parking spot and then the suspect car would drive as fast as they could and hit the other vehicle. Inspectors got a lucky break. On her case, we actually happened to get the black box from the vehicle that the suspect was driving and it shows them going from a dead stop at zero miles per hour to 30 in two seconds basically in order to hit her car. I always try to give people benefit of the doubt and I am trusting by nature, but it has hardened me to, um, to not really believe everything that someone says or does.